In Activity 6, A Shadow Clock, students construct a sundial and use it to tell time. Students recall that shadows change as the sun's position in the sky changes and that these shadow changes can indicate time of day. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 6, pieces of large blue chalk, thick wooden dowels, and clay. You will also need to provide crayons or markers, chart papers, medium stones, reclosable plastic bags, and a watch. To prepare for session one, locate an area of concrete or pavement where teams of four will be able to spread out sheets of chart paper and leave them undisturbed throughout the day. Make sure to plan the activity when the sun will be shining all day and it is not too windy. Divide each stick of clay into four equal lumps. Each team of four will need a dowel, a lump of clay, a sheet of chart paper, a piece of blue chalk, and four medium-sized stones. If students are making their sundials based on the time rather than on scheduled activities, you will need a watch. Finally, set aside a place in the classroom for students to store their sundials. To begin session one, ask students, how do we tell time? Students will probably suggest a clock. Explain that people did not always have clocks and that they used to rely on the sun to tell time. Ask students, why do you think they could do this? Some of the students may recall that the sun appears in different places in the sky at different times of the day. Students may also remember that shadows change shape as well. Inform students that before there were watches or clocks, people made shadow clocks called sundials that used changing shadows produced by the sun to tell time. Next, ask students, what are some regular activities that we have every day at the same time? Students may mention the start of school, snack time, recess, music class, and so forth. List the activities on the board in the order that they occur during the day. Distribute materials early in the day just before the first of the regularly scheduled times listed on the board. And then take the students outside to an area where there is pavement or cement that is always in the sun. Instruct students to spread out their sheets of chart paper and place a stone on each corner to hold the paper down. Then tell them to place the lump of clay in the center of the paper. Insert the dowel so that it stands upright and trace around the lump of clay. Have students color in where the dowel's shadow appears on the paper with their chalk and then write the number one or the hour, such as nine o'clock. Instruct students to use their chalk to trace around their chart paper and to then write their names just above this outline. If it is not safe to leave the papers outside, have the students bring the sundials inside. They can bring them out for each observation session. Note that students will need to correctly position them each time by placing them within the chalk outline. Repeat this process three or four more times during the day. Make sure to be consistent about taking students out just before an event or take them out every hour on the hour. If students choose to number the shadows, have them note the class activity each number represents. Keep this information for the class as they will need it in session two. To conclude session one, have the students bring their sundials inside and store them in a safe place. To prepare for session two, each team of four will need their sundial and crayons or markers. To begin session two, have the students make a drawing for each indication of the dowel shadow they made on the chart paper. The drawing should depict the regularly scheduled activity that takes place at that hour and should be far enough away from the shadow drawings in the center of the paper so as not to crowd together. To prepare for session three, each team of four will need their sundial. Plan to do session three when the sun will be shining all day. Make sure to take a watch outside with you if any of the students in the class have made their sundials based on the time. To begin session three, have the students reposition their sundials in the same place, early on the next sunny day after they complete their sundials. 
then invite students to read their sundials and ask, what time does your sundial tell you it is right now? Answers will vary. Students may say, for instance, that it is time for math or recess. If they have indicated the hour on their sundials, compare their answers with the correct time according to your watch. Take the students out to view their sundials several more times during the day. Each time, have students read their sundials and verify their accuracy. To conclude session three, have the students bring in their sundials at the end of the day. To prepare for session four, students will use activity sheet six to apply knowledge of how the length and position of shadows indicate time of day. To begin session four while in the classroom, ask students, how did the shadows on your sundial change during the day? Help students understand that the shadows change position on the paper as the sun changed its position in the sky and were always opposite the sun. Then ask, did the shadows change in any other way? Students may say they changed in shape or length. Finally, give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 6. One sundial shows a morning time, one shows midday, and the third shows an afternoon. Have them tell the time by drawing a picture of something they do or an object they use during the time shown by each sundial. To conclude session four, have the students take the clay off the dowel, put it in the reclosable plastic bags, and return these to the kit, along with the dowels and chalk. You may wish to display the sundials on the walls. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.